Welcome to today's lesson, multiplying by 6, 7, and 8. Today, I am going to teach you two strategies that you can use to practice multiplying by these numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by multiplying 5 times 6. Now remember, multiplying means repeated addition. So we are going to repeatedly add 5 groups of 6. So our first step is to find the product or the answer to this multiplication problem. We are going to use this number line to create 5 groups of 6. So let's start by counting our first group of 6. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have our first group of 6. Let's create our second group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have four groups of six, but we need five. So let's count six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. We now have five groups of six each, and that gets us to the number 30. Five times six is equal to 30. Let's talk about another strategy that you can use to multiply. We are going to use this array to multiply 3 times 8. Now your first number is going to tell you how many rows you are going to need in your array. So we're going to be making 3 groups of 8, which means we need to have 3 rows, 1, 2, 3, and we need to have 8 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now remember, multiplication is repeated addition. So we are going to be repeatedly adding the number 8 three whole times. So we're going to start by adding 8 plus 8, which equals 16 plus 8, which equals 24. We have 24 dots in our array. That means that 3 times 8 equals 24. Let's try a word problem together. Carla invited four friends to her birthday party. Each friend received seven balloons to take home. How many balloons did Carla give away? Let's start by writing our equation. We have four friends that each received seven balloons, so we have four groups of seven. Let's use our number line to find the product to this equation. We know that we're going to be creating groups of seven. Let's count to seven together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have our first group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have our second group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have our third group. One more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our fourth group. That gets us to 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. That means that Carla gave away 28 balloons at her birthday party. Great job! Let's try another word problem together. Marcus was sorting the colored pencils in his backpack. He created the array below to demonstrate all of his colored pencils. Examine the array and write an equation. Well, let's start by finding out how many rows we have in our array. That is going to be the first number of our equation. We have one, two, three, four rows. 
So that's going to be the first number in my equation. Now we're going to count how many columns we have. That's going to be the second number in our equation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six columns in all. So now our equation is four times six, or four groups of six colored pencils each. If we add up each of our different rows, we have six plus six plus six plus six. Because remember, multiplication is repeated addition. And if we add six together four times, or four groups of six, we get 24. So the product of four times six is equal to 24. That means there are 24 colored pencils in all. Let's take a moment to review what you have learned in today's lesson. Today we discussed two different strategies that you can use to multiply. Our first strategy is using a number line. Let's try eight times eight using this number line. I have already grouped out our groups of eight and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whole groups. That stops us at the number 64. That means that the product of eight times eight is equal to 64. Our second strategy is using an array. An array tells us what our equation is going to be. Our first number in our equation is going to be the number of rows in our array. We have two rows, so we know we're multiplying the number two. Then you have to count the number of columns. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So we know we're multiplying two times seven. Now remember, multiplication is repeated addition. So we will be adding seven plus seven. Seven plus seven equals 14. That means that the product of two times seven is also 14. Great work. 